Good afternoon, this is Jack from theartichart.net and I'm recording a lunchtime update on the um, lunchtime of Tuesday the 19th of December. Alright, now, what, what's changed since this morning? Well, um, I was pretty bearish and talking about negative divergence and sell signals and so on and so forth and we've made targets. Um, we had a little double top here that was looking for 86, that made target. Um, we got a sell signal that fixed on ES, that has made target. Um, could it go lower? Yes. Do I think there's much chance of us reaching this support trend line here at um, 2665 area? No. Um, you never know, but I've got no pattern to get us there. I'd be very surprised. Um, I think there might be something we're tapering for later, and at the moment, weak pivot looks out of reach too. What I'm really watching here is NQ. Now, NQ, obviously, we made the 60-minute um, self-signal target there too, but we can have a very achievable target. It's not far below. It's now slightly above the weekly pivot. I've got this in the 64, 55 to 60 area, and this is quite a strong target. Um, we've got most of the way down to it, um, and I really like this rising wedge. So um, what I'd be thinking was we'd come down, we'd touch support, and then we'd head up into a relatively marginal high high. Now, and we could actually hit this possible channel resistance trend line slightly under 6,600 on that move. Now, what are we looking at in terms of getting there? Well, we've got a bit of a bounce here. Now, I am wondering about a possible ABC, which would be ABC. So I am wondering about um, a, a significant bounce here and then a return down to it. What we need to consider, though, is that we've got a very big news week, um, major headwinds. Um, this afternoon, we're, so, we're already seeing some stuff about um, there's a vote and there's going to be a big announcement this afternoon. Obviously, what we're looking at is very subject to that. But I think if we get down to this level here, with any luck, that's going to be a decent buy um, up into this level here and possibly into this level here. Um, so like in NQ here, TF, again, um, we've broken up from this double bottom. I'm expecting to see the retest of the all-time high. Um, and I'm not seeing anything here to suggest we're not going to reach it. I think this is a likely bull flag forming. We could be back testing this um, broken double bottom resistance, which is in the 1537 stroke 8 area. Um, and we'll see. We don't have a sell signal here, so it doesn't matter. It hasn't reached the 30 level. Um, could we go a bit lower and reach this 1537.8? Yes, we could. Um, are we likely to make this target? Yes, we are. So what I'm thinking is we're looking at a decline here, and this is, in all probability, a depth to buy. Subject to, um, obviously, this being a big news week. Um, anyway, sorry, I forgot my disclaimer. We do this for educational purposes only. We're here to share our technical analysis with you. We hope you can take some of what we're doing and learn from it and transfer it to your own charts, and we're not here to issue trading signals. So anyway, be wary. Um, we've got some serious news buffeting coming our way this afternoon, um, but at the moment, this is all going pretty much to plan. Um, and the plan would be that it would probably go a little lower, possibly after a significant bounce, um, and would hit this trend line running queue. Um, we are, we've made most of the progress down towards it. I'm not seeing any obvious reason to think we aren't going to make that, but obviously, you know, news conferences, so on. I mean, um, we don't know what's going to happen this afternoon. And as and when the tax bill passes, big wild card again. Is it already priced in? Is it going to sell on the news? Um, there is an element of gambling around trading around new, uh, news, and this is a big news week. All right, great. Um, in that case, I think that wraps up the equities side of it. So let's move on. Now, 